What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie, and today's video is going to be another first impressions demo slash review on a palette. I have the Hot Topics new Baked Plush Care Bear eyeshadow palette with me today. So I did a similar video like this with the Ohana palette and that got a lot of great attention so I thought I would do another one that is a really fun video so I tried wearing like my most obnoxious shirt that I own it kind of goes with the colors so I thought eh why not this is actually the Jeffree Star <laughs> shirt but anywho let's just open it and see what's inside so the mirror is good quality and it's super cute the packaging is like total Japan it's got Care Bears all around it and it's like an art style that I've never really seen Care Bear do before so it's really I actually kind of like it so then we get to the eyeshadow so this is what we're looking at right here the one thing that I noticed immediately is that when I got it in the box this one was completely broken so I'm kind of scared to open it up I'm also kind of peeved because it's a silver and I love silvers. I could really use this palette if it had the silver in it. So let's just open it. It's got that plastic covering on it, so we're going to rip that off really quickly. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So without any further ado, let's do this. Okay, so let's just do some swatches. So I'm gonna do the first five on my finger and we'll see I'm taking Birthday Bear, Polite Panda, Take Care Bear, and Baby Hugs Bear. And I really rubbed my finger into them and we're just gonna see how these show up. Okay, very interesting. So they're not very pigmented. You can see on my arm right here. So the shadows are literally moving around as I'm trying to swatch them. That's how poorly they're made in this bin. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. I'm really unimpressed with these, but I kind of didn't have high hopes. The Ohana palette was so much better. Two most interesting shades in this palette is Baby Tugs Bear and Heart Song Bear. So, oh my gosh, the, it just fell everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm so done with this. I wanted this to be like a real professional video, but I don't think it's going to be that way. So the shades literally move around when you try and swatch them. These all look pretty much the same. These look the same. These blues are the exact same. These show up the same. I honestly don't know what they were thinking. They're just ripping people off with this. Let's try and create a eyeshadow look and just see what we can do with it. I don't want to give up just yet because I want this video to be thorough. So let's just keep going. Okay, so I'm going to be getting my shadows wet and there's not even like it's all shimmers there's no transition shades so we're probably going to have to make our own but i want to keep this a complete care bear tutorial so let's just see what we can do with this so i'm going to be using a transition shade and i'm taking the royal and lang nickel bmx 430 crease brush and i'm going to be dipping into birthday bear okay we got some pigment Okay, so now to get a little bit more precise with the crease, I'm going to be taking the brown shade, and this is Surprise Bear. I really do like the names. I think that is the cutest idea. I really wish that this was like a serious palette. It's, it's moving under my E17 brush. The eyeshadow is literally moving around. So this one looks like it has a lot more pigment than the first one, so let's just see. Okay, we definitely have some pigment now. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I really want to do a fun look with this, so I'm going to be playing with the blues a lot. 
and do a really, really fun Care Bear look. So next I'm going to be taking my Sephora blending brush and I'm going to be dump, dipping in, dumping, pfft. I'm going to be dipping into Baby Tugs Bear and this is the darkest blue in the palette and this is the one that's all broken up it's a very silverish blue and when I tap it off all of the sparkles just fall like they don't even puff into the air like a fine powder they just fall like meteors onto the other shadows that's brilliant there we go there's the puff okay so I'm just going to be blending this on the outer corner So next I'm taking a flat Morphe brush and I'm going to be wetting this. It already has blue on it so I thought it would just be okay to just use it. So I'm going to be dipping into Grumpy Bear because that's literally me. I'm grumpy all the time. So I'm going to be dipping into this blue. Oh my gosh, I just dumped that powder everywhere. Man, I'm, I can't even show you the shades because of that damn eyeshadow breaking. So I'm picking it up with a wet brush and just seeing the difference that it liquid will make with the shadows. Start patting this in. It is so patchy. Let me try Wish Bear. It's, long, it's the same color. Let's be real. Okay, that was a lot of work for one pigment to show up. So I want to make this a little bit more fun. I'm going to be dipping into daydream bear and this is the um, purple so I'm just swirling it in to try and get some pigment and I'll show you exactly how much comes off with me swirling like this okay we got a little purple so I'm just gonna take a little Morphe pencil brush and I'm dipping back into that baby tugs bear and I'm just going to be pulling that underneath to the lower lash line because that seems to be the most pigmented shade in the palette. Baby Tugs Bear is a cute name. I'd like name a dog that. In fact, like my dog's name is Bear, so I'll probably be using some of these names. So I have like a very interesting eye look. I'm just going to go with it. I'm taking my Milani Stay Put Waterproof Liner and I'm lining my waterline with this just to kind of go with it. Okay, and to just finish this look off, I am taking Bashful Heart Bear, and this is like a white in the palette, and I'm just swirling that around my E17 brush, and I'm just going to be putting this on my brow bone. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I'll zoom you in and give you a closer look. I'm actually like not mad at this. So, like the review, this is like such a hard review to give. By all means, this palette is not worth your money. Like, don't even waste it. <laughs> I spent 20 bucks on this and like, yeah, it made a cool video, but like I would never recommend this to anybody. But it did exceed my expectations in the end. They did show up, they did blend well together. It did create a really pretty look that I'm kind of liking but I would never ever pick this palette up again. I would just do the same look with better eyeshadows. I really had to dig to get certain shades out. A lot of the shades were very similar. They didn't really think the palette out. The colors didn't show up that well. It did create this look. They did blend well together once you scraped them out of the bin, but I don't recommend it. So take with that what you will if you're a collector this is a really cute palette to purchase i'm happy that i have it but i will end up giving this to my cousin thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys found it entertaining if you did please give me a big thumbs up or subscribe down below and i will see you guys next time bye